Have you ever felt like you're not living up to your potential? Here's how to get ahead of 99% of people in the next nine to 12 months. First, you define your goal. Second, you change your mindset. Third, you reverse engineer the actions that will take you to your goal. And fourth, you repeat those daily actions consistently without fail. You see the difference between a successful person and somebody who's not successful are just their daily actions repeated over a long period of time. And that slight difference compounded is what leads them down completely different life paths. This concept is called the slight edge and it's really not that hard if you think about it. 99% of you watching are distracted and will probably forget this video. But if you're part of the 1% that I'm speaking to, then I encourage you to finish this video undistracted if you really do want to get ahead. A lot of the ideas here from one of my all time favorite books called the slight edge. If you've never read this book before, I highly encourage you to buy it and read it after this video, it will completely transform your perspective on what it takes to succeed like it did to me. So first, you have to define your goal. You probably have an idea of what your life will look like if you're ahead of 99% of people. And it really just depends on what you're trying to achieve. But you want to write down your goal and define it as clearly as possible. This is a guide for all the actions that you take. And then you have to put it somewhere where you can see it every day. So I have them right in front of my desk and also on my phone. It serves as a reminder for what you should be focusing on. The more you look at it, the more you read it over and over, the more your subconscious will work on it in the background, coming up with ideas and figuring out what is the next step. The reason you have to review it is because every day you're bombarded with lots of different input, lots of different conversations. And if you don't look at your goal every day written on paper, your goal will become less and less clear because you'll be influenced by different people that you meet or different ideas that you come across. But if you have them written down extremely clearly, there's nothing that can sway you. Back when I first started going to the gym and exercising in high school, it was my goal to just not be skinny fat. Because I never actually wrote that down and reviewed it, every time something in life would come up or I'd get busy, I would just kind of slowly forget that I had this goal. And then pretty soon after a couple of weeks, I totally forgot that I was even trying to do this and I had to start all over again, losing all that momentum. So it's extremely important that you write them down and just put in a place where you can't avoid seeing them. Now I even have the same goal written in like different places around the house. So when I'm brushing my teeth, working at my desk, or even just just pulling on my phone out. Remember what it is I'm trying to focus on. But the second step is you change your mindset. You must embrace the mentality of being a student. When I did actually write down my goal and I started to actually go to the gym, I still had no idea what to do. Growing up in Taiwan, I didn't really have people around me that were all that into lifting. I remember the first time I tried squatting in the gym and I was actually doing it in the wrong direction. This guy came up to me and he started to help me out. And naturally I just asked him questions like, can you help me fix my form? What's the best program I should do? It wasn't long until I was squatting over three plates. So the key insight here is to embrace the mentality of being a student. It actually doesn't matter where you are on your journey. If you want to get ahead of 99% of people, it means that there are people ahead of you that do know things that you don't right now. So you must absolutely become a beginner and be open to learning from every place that you can. Your philosophy is the most important foundation for anything that you do because your philosophy creates your attitude, which creates your actions, which create your results, which create your life. And if you don't have the right mindset, even when you're presented with the right information, you won't have the catalyst to apply it effectively. And if you have the right mindset, you'll constantly be iterating and you'll be learning faster than everyone else. There are three ways that you can learn and embrace the mentality of being a student. They're by studying, doing, or modeling. Studying means you take courses or read books. Doing means you learn by trying to find out by yourself. And modeling is actually the fastest way. You find a mentor and you learn from them directly. As a student, you have to constantly be learning and be okay with failing throughout the entire process. Yeah, having the right mindset is kind of having like the right operating system for your brain. And if you understand this, then you won't actually feel demotivated or give up just from a lack of results. 99% of people don't succeed because they start being comfortable and think they know everything already. No matter how advanced you get, you must embrace the mentality of being a student. But even with the right mentality, it's completely useless if you don't have the right execution. And that leads me to the third step. You have to reverse engineer the daily actions that will get you to your goal. This is where the idea of the slight edge comes in. The slight edge is basically the idea that the same actions that take you from failure to survival are the same actions that will take you from average to the top 1%. As long as you keep doing them. The idea is that success happens when you take small productive actions repeated consistently over a long period of time. And failure happens when you make errors in judgment consistently over a long period of time. So to reverse engineer what you have to do, think about what actions you can do on a daily basis that would be unreasonable for you to not get to your goal. These actually tend to be a lot simpler than you think. So if we take the example of trying to lose weight and achieve your ideal body, one thing you can do is like visualize that person and think about what actions they do on a daily basis. They probably go to the gym every day. They probably don't eat junk food 
throwing sugar, and they get sufficient protein. And if you think about it, the same actions that can take a person from being fat to normal weight are also the same actions that can take a person from being normal weight to being super fit, as long as you keep doing them. Which leads me to the next part of the equation. You must repeat them without fail consistently over the next nine to 12 months. This sounds extremely simple, but this is actually where most people fail. You know what your goal is, you're learning things about it every day, and you also know exactly what you have to do today to get to your goal in a year. And maybe you're thinking, if it's so easy to go from average to the top 1%, then why doesn't everyone do it? It's actually because of something I call the paradox of simplicity. There are two reasons why many people give up their side edge habits and fall behind. So number one, the results are invisible. Eating unhealthy food, drinking alcohol, or even one can of Coke has almost no effects in the short run, but in the long term, it can compound to dramatic health issues. And second, these habits also just seem insignificant. They're so simple to do that they're also really simple to not do. If you skip one day at the gym, chances are you aren't gonna lose muscle and you probably won't see any difference in your weight. But it's actually that small difference that separates the 99% from the top 1%. And you don't even need to be improving by 1% every time you do these actions. You just need to be constantly learning and iterating based on the feedback that you get. If you just repeat the same actions and you're not actually iterating or learning, then nothing will change. It's the same as YouTube, like people say consistency is really important, but obviously there's channels that they are so consistent, but they never try to improve their videos or even see why it is that their videos aren't working and their channel never grows. So you have to repeat the same actions while learning and iterating based on feedback. And it's the results that start to compound, not your actions. When I started this YouTube channel, I got some advice from a big creator. He told me, all you need to do is to put in two focus hours studying YouTube every day. And that's all you need to do to succeed at YouTube. At the time, it seemed way too simple. But since I started doing that habit consistently, I saw dramatic growth in my channel. And I know that if I stop doing this, my channel will probably start to stagnate. If you spend two hours a day studying YouTube and you post one video a week, you will have a massive channel after nine to 12 months. You just need to iterate, learn, and repeat what works. And then your results will compound over time. Yeah, Warren Buffett talks about this idea a lot too of how the first $100,000 that you save up, that will be the hardest. And the next $100,000 after you invest it will, get, will come easier. And then going from 100,000 to a million is actually easier than going from zero to $100,000. It's because the money itself starts to compound, but the actions that you're actually taking in getting more clients, making more money is actually the same. Sometimes you'll see people and you think that they achieved success instantly or overnight, and it's actually a trap that might cause you to fail. This is the idea of a quantum leap. So don't fall for the quantum leap. The quantum leap is the idea that success can come instantly, like going through a program or winning the lottery. But successful people don't win lotteries because they don't actually buy lotteries. Although quantum leaps do happen, they only happen when the accumulation of slight edge habits have piled up so high that the actions becomes impossible to ignore. J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, she actually struggled with poverty and had her first manuscript for the book rejected by 12 publishing houses. But she never stopped writing, iterating, and eventually this publishing house accepted it and it went on to become one of the most successful book franchises of all time. You only tend to hear about the event of success, which gives you the illusion that people become successful suddenly and they got to a certain income in a certain amount of time. But what we don't see is all the failures and accumulated efforts that they've put in over the years. Progress is often not linear. And so there will be points of plateauing and it is continuing to do the same daily actions during those periods of plateau that you get past 99% of people. You have to get to the point where 99% of people would not do it today because they're sick because something came up. It's the small difference between going to the gym even though you feel tired. There's a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane and it basically just breaks down how to become a millionaire. But I remember in that book, the author talks about the idea that success is a result of processes. And the reason why most people don't become rich is because they're preoccupied with events of wealth and disregarding the process. If there is no process, there is no exit, there is no moment of fame. The process are the daily habits and actions that will get you to your goal. It seems incredibly simple. But it's actually quite hard to do in practice. If you can just do that, I guarantee your life will be unrecognizable in a year. And you'll be ahead of 99% of the people watching this video right now. Becoming the top 1% is a natural consequence of the actions that you decide to take on a daily basis. You're either on a path upwards or you're on a path downwards. There's not really an intermediary. So if your daily actions are moving you forward, then your daily actions are probably moving you backwards. Every day you make the decision of whether or not you're gonna be the bottom 99% or the top 1% based on the actions you choose to take on that day. And this is actually my plan for this channel. You're gonna see me consistently take action to reach my goals. Last year I quit my job to start working for myself. And the mindset I've detailed here is what I have been doing and what I will continue to be doing. And I'm sure if you come back in nine to 12 months, this channel will be in a completely different place than it is right now. My challenge to you is this, comment down below what you wanna achieve in the next nine to 12 months and where you're at today. I'll keep you accountable.